I'm Russell Burnaby, I'm the Head of Facilities Management here at Brent Council. So Brent Council is a local authority that covers uh, one of 32 London boroughs. Largely one of the big things we find is that um, our building users expect a very high level of service. So it's really important for us that we had a, an easy to use system and for the back end of that system to pass those, those jobs through to the relevant um, parties to action them and make sure that the customer experience was as good as it possibly could be. I'm Luke Lester, I'm the Facilities Operations Manager for Brent Council. Previously the FM arrangement was outsourced so therefore they were responsible for the, the management of, of our compliance and, and all the data. My name's Tom Beavers and I work for Brent Council managing the audiovisual service and also the help desk system. We wanted to uh, overcome some of the challenges of having an outsourced provider and having the data outside of our ownership and control. Uh, we wanted to know when things were happening, what the progress was, without necessarily having to defer to another provider. Our previous outsourced contractor had their own CAFM system and we had a requirement to bring our own systems back in-house and that's where we talked to providers in the market to see if we could bring, bring about a, a system that would deliver us the, the requirements that we needed. We reviewed several different products um, and CAFM Explorer stood out because we had previously used the software and it was user friendly and quite easy to, to, to operate. In terms of benefits, we've seen improvements to the response times of our calls. Ultimately, bringing the system uh, and our operations in-house, we were slightly nervous. Uh, one of the key aspirations was to improve response times, log jobs quickly, get those out to engineers, get maintenance teams um, on the scene or cleaning operatives, whoever it might be, as quickly as possible. And I'm pleased to say that the system has enabled us to do that. On the back end of the system, we're also able to produce statistical reports and benchmark our performance against how we were performing previously, which is really useful to us. We've massively increased our efficiency in the ability of being able to find out the progress of a job. Uh, we can tell straight away whether a job's been completed or whether there's still work to do and who's responsible for it. The implementing process was straightforward. We had support from IDOX in doing that and importing data that we'd held previously, although that was limited in our case, but we were able to compile the information offline and import it into the system. We also worked closely with their team to make sure that everything was set up to our requirements and also that we had the tools and the knowledge to be able to make changes subsequently as we got to know the system. One of the biggest challenges, I think, is whichever system you implement, uh, it's getting everybody's buy-in with the system, making sure everyone is using the system religiously. Because whether you've got a paper card-based system or an advanced CAFM system like CAFM Explorer, if people don't use the system, the data that's within the system is not going to be up to date. Uh, it's a modular system and there are elements that we don't use at the moment. But fortunately, there's no bars within the system that prevent us from adding to it or using new features in the future. IDOCs were able to offer training to the operatives um, that, that utilise the FM help desk um, system and that, that's been a really positive step in implementing a system that's met the needs of the council and our wider estate. So we're really pleased that that's, that's in place now and six months in we can say we, we, we're utilising the system to the level that we, we had expected.